How's it going everybody? It's your boy homie G and I'm back. All right, so this video is on account of a little homie, a guy who asked me, homie G, can you do a video please on what to do if your significant other is angry at you? All right then, so as young people, you are going to get into disagreements with your um, boyfriend or girlfriend um, all the time, okay? It's adults, same thing, it happens. But you get better, hopefully, over time at resolving your conflict with your significant other. Okay, I have, and I used to be horrible at it, okay? Um, trust me. So um, I have some advice for you, little homie, um, that's going to help you um, get your significant other to be on good terms with you again and for everything to be back to normal, okay? Because I know that's what you want. So first, you must understand that when you get into an argument or a disagreement, um, that other person is going to get worked up emotionally. That's, that's what disagreements are, okay? It's all about emotion, especially for girls. Um, they're more emotional usually than boys, okay? So as guys, our tendency is to want to fix it or fix the a misunderstanding or whatever happened right away. But that's an error. Uh, on the part of guys to want to do that right away, okay? What you'll want to do is actually give your significant other, give your girl some time. Um, don't rush into trying to fix it because they're, they may not be ready. They're just not emotionally ready to um, let go of it or to move on or to actually even see you or talk to you at that point um, as soon as the argument is over. So give them, I'd say, a rule of thumb, at least a day, 24 hours to you know, them for them to process the whole event and uh, emotionally and be calm uh, again enough to want to talk to you or even see you, okay? And sometimes it depends on the degree of how badly you screwed up. If you screwed up really bad, it may take longer than 24 hours. They might not want to see you um, for a week, okay? So you may try after 24 hours, but if they're not answering your texts, your Instagram, your snaps, or they're not calling you back, whatever, Give them time, okay? Don't take it personal. It could just be that they're not ready yet, okay? So don't take it personal and get more offended or angry at your significant other for not wanting to resolve the misunderstanding. That's number one. Be patient. Two, okay? When you do uh, meet up with your significant other or talk or however you communicate and you're rehashing what happened, always defer to her. Let her speak first and ask, you know, what did I do to upset you? Um, like, basically, like you're trying to understand for yourself what you did. You may have your own idea of what you did, um, but the way they perceive things is completely different than the way you did. And so you have to let them talk first and uh, don't interrupt them. Don't try to defend yourself. That makes it worse while they are um, basically um, telling you why they're so upset at you. Okay, so try to understand where they're coming from. Try to understand their point of view of how they see what you did um, and what made them angry at you, okay? That'll help you out tremendously when you come to the next part of the, uh, of the, um, of the communication event where you're trying to um, basically resolve your, your issues or your conflict um, because now you'll be able to paraphrase back to your um, girlfriend um, what you think um, she said and they'll be like yeah exactly for example uh, i'm sorry babes for ordering food for you at the restaurant that was very chauvinistic of me you're your own individual you have a mind of your own you don't need me ordering for you i apologize i understand now um, why you were angry and i understand why you know, that was very um, chauvinistic of me. Uh, and then you go on to the next part. I'm sorry. Okay, say, I'm sorry. Uh, I was wrong. I made a mistake. Say it in at least two or three different ways to make her see your sincerity. Because if you're just saying it, you know, and you're not really uh, keeping a straight face or you're not really, um, you know, looking like, like you're, uh, you mean it, they'll, they'll sense that and they will, they will catch you for it and they will not 
want to accept your apology, which is which is worse. Okay, um, so definitely be sincere. Uh, paraphrase back what they said to you about um, why um, they were angry at you, okay, so that they know that you understand um, why they're angry at you. And if you have to say what explain your actions, go ahead and do that too. That's your opportunity to explain your actions and why you did things uh, the way you did. And um, it's on on them now on her to um, to go ahead and uh, accept it or not accept it the way, what your actions were uh, and why what was your what what was the rationale for your behavior okay and then uh, lastly um, the degree of her anger at you is gonna determine what you want to come to the uh, post argument with uh, what I'm trying to say here is if you really screwed up you're gonna want to come with like flowers candy, a card, something else to make your apology um, that much more impactful, okay? Um, if you come empty-handed and you really screwed up, it may not be enough with some girls, okay? So you always want to um, apologize, not just with uh, sincerity, and uh, but you also, depending on how angry they are at you, you want to bring something as a token of your uh, remorse and, um, you know, to give to them to make them feel like they're special again. All right, my little homie. So those have been your tips on how to resolve a conflict with your girlfriend. Holla at me. Write some comments. If you have any additional questions, write them below this uh, this post here, this uh, video post here, and uh, and I'll see you later. Peace.